recording all right we are back we are back what's good youtube channel you guys see it we back you know what i'm saying it's been a cool minute but once bleach comes back out you guys already know no matter how long it's been i gotta come back and bring that shit back to you guys because you guys already know we brought this whole journey together thousand year blood war season two or the second part is out right after the last season ended with bleach with my um, watch me call it ichigo bleach with my boy ichigo getting his true zanpak though we seen him literally get his quincy powers and his soul reaper powers or his hollow powers i could say in two different blades we don't know how this shit gonna come out yet how he's gonna start how fighting his new fighting style all this stuff so i can't really talk, talk about anything about it we're just gonna get straight into it binge the first four episodes that came out all in one so yeah I will have the luxury of having all these episodes in one video. So you guys already know, if you guys enjoy, hit the like, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? We back. About to be dropping these every week. And I'm not going to say too much. Let's get it on. Get it. God damn. What a... I'm, I was the first one. You know, chat, we, we were all the first. We, we were all this one right here. We all made it. We all won, bro. We won that race. We made it into the world. That's basically what this shit is. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I am sick. I thought that shit was some weird animation of some moon, but no, that shit ended up to be exactly what I thought it was. Which baby is this? This gotta be Yuha, right? Motherfucker fucking was born and was the king. This gotta be some Yuha shit, huh? Is that motherfucker too damn strong? <laughs> yeah. I'm not even surprised, bro. The only motherfucker that could have been born this way. I literally hear debates about this motherfucker paralleling Goku's power. The separation arc. All right. For the separation episode. Fuck it. I'm tripping nowadays. Let's see what this new OP talking about. Ready for the new OPs, y'all. People hyped about it or not. Hold up. I love it. Every time I see Kuyodaku, man, that nigga's goaded. Okay, it's hitting now. OP just start hitting right now. Hold up. Seeing you how picking up his young apprentice. I forgot that boy uh, Udyu did end up joining the Quincy's and shit. The gang, the chat, the two Zambaktos, the two guitars. No way we're gonna have a Udyu versus Ichigo. Udyu, you must be dumb as shit. I don't care uh, how much of a level up you think you've got. We've gone through this ever since the show started. There's no way you're getting near Ichigo level. Like you could keep doing that shit. Keep. You gonna try to fight my boy again? I think he's been hitting that shit back the whole time that he's been wanting to like be stronger than Ichigo or fight him or like whoop his ass. Probably been keeping that shit a long time ago. Yes, do not blame Ichigo. Blame the captains that were all weak as fuck. <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> um, I'm just remembering that everyone who lost their Bankai probably still doesn't have their Bankai and stuff like that. The blood war is just not over yet. Nah, nigga, you training up here. Why are you surprised? I'm pretty sure people don't know that Yuha has absorbed Yamato's power. Or do they not? Do they know that already? Because the motherfucker is literally god level. Or do, am I not even supposed to know that yet? I don't know, bro. I know that though. Please reconfer. That's like a 10 hut. Always gonna be a fan of Yuha. The man's literally real on gets. <laughs> Ooh, who do you use pulling up? Wait, he about to be a, the new Stern Ritter? Damn. Who do you on some world level or some shit? What's up with his bloodline? He's the last surviving Quincy in this world. I don't understand if he's the last surviving Quincy when. Aren't all the people in here Quincy's? I mean, I don't know, man. At this point, it's like, what the fuck? But he made Udyu his successor, which is actually crazy. That boy cannot be Yuha's successor. It's just, it just doesn't make no sense. Udyu, you better have a plan, because, my man, you not switching up like this, is you? Udyu, bro, like... I'm on your head the whole season now. Because you going to get your ass whooped. You might get stronger, but, man. Jeez. Fine as fuck and god damn, why? First of all, I was not just reading this right. Because these fucking no fucks is freaks. Yeah. Uh, 
Goddamn. This bitch is crazy. The funny thing is that we still haven't got deep, like, introductions of, like, every single Stern Ritter. Like, all these Quincy's. Aren't these all Quincy's? Oh, I was looking like sluts. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Bass B is fucking insane. Didn't he kill, like, Kida? We gotta get his revenge. We, we gotta get my boy. He decided to get revenge on his ass. This motherfucker made me think of Ikaku so much. <laughs> Ooh, we bad about to get. Oh shit. Damn. I don't know if it's me or who you kinda look like Aizen. His power must be fucking different. These are not Quincy's. Cause that's not no Quincy power. I don't know what the hell that's I don't know what these Thurn Raiders are. They're strong as fuck, but they seem like to have a different type of power than Quincy. Like, I'm not really sure if I missed that back in the season or if they said what they are. But they don't seem like Quincy's. They're not Quincy. I mean, I don't know, bro. And why did Yuha say fucking Uriu is a last dad in Quincy? It's just interesting. All his fellow Quincy's dead, but he was the one that survived. He's trying to let him know that he's the last one. That Ashuwalem was when motherfucker was actually getting killed. Motherfucker, you just survived because he was a kid, and the Soul Reapers ain't want to kill your ass. Unless the Soul Reapers killed some kids too, but I didn't see. I never seen any. Quincy kids apart from him. Damn, drinking Yuha's blood probably gonna make him really strong. Motherfucker really drunk the Quincy Bloods Queen. Oh, the Quincy Bloods. Blood. The Quincy King's blood. Is it what it is? Motherfucker on some all white shit. Ooh. They're training here in Weko Mundo? Who are they with? Who the fuck is the guy in the. This motherfucker Ichigo got ripped as fuck. Two's on Pucko. The training commences. Let's see to get out the soul of the bracket. Oh shit, you about to get on that Gintoki level. Oh shit, they gotta put him on Gintoki level. They put him with a stick. Surpass that of a soul reaper, man. I feel like when he says that, he's talking about surpassing all these soul reapers. Like, he's basically telling you have to be stronger than all these captains. You have to be stronger than a regular Soul Reaper. The max level of a Soul Reaper is not enough. That's basically what he's telling Ichigo. So I can live. Seeing my old visors is always lit. Good times. Especially now that they're working with the Soul Society and everything. Telling his captains again and all that. That shit is just fire. <laughs> you already stay arguing. It's crazy, they're still in their old base that they used to like train in. Like that's where we saw them pull Ichigo in for the first time. Yeah, I never thought Biaki was really gonna die, bro. Biaki a dying was crazy. Biaki out here. They what's his face? They did pick him up. Uh I forgot old girl's name and her and his brother. Ganjo, whatever his name is. Brought him to the hot springs and his fucking specials. The special hot spring that they took each other in back in the day. This motherfucker, he just seems strong as fuck, but I feel like we would never see him in action. See each of his old friends? I reckon I was doing it right. Who the fuck are these people? Well, who the fuck is this guy right here? I don't know him. Kago? <laughs> oh god, I don't remember Kago. <laughs> this motherfucker Ichigo go come back a new man. In that case, he may not have to come back. Yo, for Kago's feeling being so enlightened about Ichigo, and for me not to remember him is crazy, even though he looked just like Ichigo for some reason. Oh, this nigga lit. He's like, y'all come see him. Fuck it, y'all come to Society. That's Kuyanaku for you, man. Go captain. Always been. Oh, weren't there someone else with them? Who the hell was that? 
Chat, can you hear? Oh, I forgot that's Grimjo. They never showed Grim. They, they forgot to show Grimjo's full face and everything. But yeah, Grimjo was with them. <laughs> These guys always wait to the soul side and everybody chilling, and they're like peekaboo. Y'all thought it was safe? Nope. We want smoke again. This nigga said the nine last days for y'all to live has come. Prepare your last words, it's a wrap. <laughs> that was a good opening. Really, 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 really good opening. Only that threw me off is fucking Kago. I never fucking realized Kago. Oh, that's him. Right, the next episode will begin right now. Oh, fuck it. The animation! <laughs> trying to recreate the OG Hollow scene. <laughs> the fucking Quincy's is not playing no games. The Rend of the Society used to take their Bankai's, kill their strongest fucking captain that's ever been running the fucking Society for thousands of years, and then come back in nine days before they can even fucking regroup and reorm and murk their ass again. Yada yada. He's like, damn. This is terrible for me to say this shit, but they were all fucking took it out. That shit is sucks. Kuyodaku seems like he ready though. <laughs> I don't think Kuyodaku lost his bunkai though. Yeah, he didn't. So when they're in the soul side, they're even stronger. Some people could pull up on them so casually. Listening to their conversation and just casually just ending their conversation and letting them know exactly what we did. Stern Ritter B. Someone in the comments on YouTube, let me know. Confirm this at least. Are Stern Ritters not Quincy's? <laughs> so Kiyoraku is now the Grand Captain of the Society? Like, he's been appointed the Master. Like, yes. That's why I came here first. Oh shit, he's like, I came to the head of the snake. Kiyoraku is so calm. Mopo got villain attitude in him. That's why they all just pop it up. But look at Mayoru! Siku, whatever his fucking last name is. <laughs> He's like, y'all were in the shadows? What does Mayoru do? He's like, that's some shit I'd do too. That's basically what they were doing. That's why I modified my laboratory. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere, basically. You're dead! That motherfucker's dead. The all out war with the great animations, bro. I like how like the shadows and everything, like you can see the red fire on everything. It's kind of small detail, but tough. Ooh, is she here, Rukia? Oh, I don't think it's Rukia, but we got a captain. Rukia's still up in the place where the fucking head captain is, like the Tokyo King is, wherever he's at. My boy Toshiro don't got a Bankai though. It's kind of sus, cause. Yeah, my man looks so cold in this new thousand year blow for. Yeah, the Storm Raiders are different, man. They have different powers. Like, it's not explained that they're Quincy's or what, but they have elements and yeah, they're different. But I still do believe there are Quincy's that's gonna stuck to me. I just don't think they're the same type of Quincy's as Uriyu. Yeah, confirmation later on. OST Yeah, vice captain uh -oh. Hey And the Storm Raiders are like lettered Like they're all lettered Okay These mid panel effects is kind of tough I ain't gonna lie <laughs> That's not a fucking good thing. Uh oh. Why are you explaining? Oh my god. Something I've always hated. 
Damn, making him seem like he's ass. With some little bit of ice. When that, when that boy Twitch you don't get cocky, bro. When did that, yo, who died? For Toshido to get them eyes, like he lost everything. Like who? Okay, if she's calling them Quincy's, the Stern Raiders, then the Stern Raiders are Quincy's. The Majesties just doesn't see them as like the same Quincy as Woody. I guess. Cause I have to just get that fucking straight. I think fucking Kuyoraku's vice captain is literally the best. And he's always had the best vice captain. Even before her, his visor captain was tough as fuck. Forgot her name again. You better dip, man. You let your brother squabble. God damn. You lucky. Lucky the Quincy's ain't Rufus, you would've killed a girl right in front of his eyes. <laughs> oh, I was expecting that, but hold up, okay. See what you doing to your big brother? God damn! Me! That's what I thought too! Okay, bro! She's so fucking fast! I didn't even know what she did until they showed her. She grabbed every fucking single bullet. She's on her fucking Luigi shit. Oh, it's T. One of my favorites. Stealth Force. So we pulling so waifu. Woo! Shuko. Haven't heard that in a minute. Her shit looks different. Damn. You can tell her Shunko different because when fucking Yoroichi does Shunko, that shit rips all her fucking clothes off, bro. That shit looks different. It's tough. Ooh. No Baika, no problem. And this motherfucker is not worried about shit. He's like, yeah, I'm about to dip. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's me as a villain, bro. I'd be like, nah, he's too much work. Go go fight someone else, bro. Especially if someone like Mayuru, bro. Motherfucker gonna pop out like 30 different clones of himself. Oh. Oh, he's even smarter than I thought. No Bankai, no problem. Now that this motherfucker walk out of here, bro, Mayuru, you better tell your squad to jump his ass right now. You the one captain that does not take disrespect, and you better not let this shit happen right now. I'll let you know this shit right now. <laughs> that man, be biased. This motherfucker not playing. Y'all treating him like fodder. Motherfucker already got bodies that we know. Be biased actually killed Kira, bro. Motherfucker bopped his ass. Pew! Someone gotta kill him. One finger. He not playing. Sound effects getting some fire force vibes. Damn. Blasted Hitsugaya. Soy phone. Movement is crazy. She really takes after Yoroichi, man. I'm so proud. He, he caught me shit, huh? I, I see no ease to use the Bankai to make. Yeah, he could, he could, they can use the Bankai to take him, apparently. He basically put off Shunko. Right? Or some shit as fast as it. Nah, ain't no way she's dying like that. This is actually a fucking massacre, bro. The Stern Ritter's been having an edge up on us for a minute. First fight wasn't even fair. Second fight looking the same way. Trap didn't even last for a fucking second. All this power is fucking one to two fingers. 
Motherfucker pull out a palm, it's gonna be like be bad. Bosby. to leave chapter. Damn. Tiffany and Hitsugaya are both gone? Or like dumb for the fight? That makes Captain so fucking weak without their bank. I've been saying it. Never wanted to fucking disrespect them, but Urahara! He completed a method to reclaim Bankai's. Finally, bro, these captains about to die without that shit. I wish the captains could have been way strong without Bankai. Or like had like some... Hopefully, at least use y'all fucking Sword Awakenings, man. They wasn't even using fucking Shikai's, but okay. Fuck it. Hey, let's look at the fucking end scene before I get into the next But I just gotta see the tables get turned, bro. I've been watching the fucking Sturm Ritter's mob fucking society for months on to come now because goddamn, first of the thousand year blood war was the same. Ichigo about to achieve above soul, soul reaper level. Motherfucker getting drowsy up in this shit. Get faded or some shit. I don't know. Bro, if we not getting Mugetsu level strength, or even way above it. Alright, episode 3, y'all. See, these guys are actual Quincy's because they literally got the arrows and that shit. That's real Quincy shit. Most of the Stern Ridders is not coming like they got some special powers. Different. Look at them. Basby. Burning shit up. Taking out Hutsugaya. Burned his leg. God damn, bro. The captain's Bankai's back already. Got me. This motherfucker. That's what I think. I think Hisagi is pulling up to fucking Hitsugaya's help because Hisagi gotta get his boy's revenge, bro. Baz B. Wasn't Baz B the one that obliterated Kira? If I'm, if I'm not wrong. He has his Bankai. Whoa. She's not dead. Ish. They're about to pull out his own Bankai? Okay, she's not dead yet. Seeing someone call out your own fucking technique gotta be painful, bro. Gotta wanna squabble for that shit. God damn. Derm Ridders are Quincy's with Bankai, basically. Oh, all these motherfuckers got Bankai. Let's get the fucking Bankai's back. Take that Bankai off him and put it on fucking Tito Guy if that's what y'all about to do. Yeah, let's see how this shit method. Let's see how this method works in the midst of someone about to get murked by their own bond guy. I've been I've been mentioning this shit ever since last season as well, bro. If this shit ends without me seeing Kisuke Urahara go dumb dumb like insane, crazy fight, putting out Bankai, getting the sway and all that shit, I'm gonna be really irritated because he's a character I just know is so hype. He used to be a captain. Never seen fight. That motherfucker is different, man, Mayuru. He on a different level than you, man. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Yo, Kisuke is on a different level, Mayuru, bro. He, Mayuru's a real scientist. He knows how to do shit. He knows how to expect shit. But Kisuke is someone that will really still surprise him because it's like, fuck. That's pretty much his apprentice. <laughs> You're talking about... This motherfucker's sole goal is probably to be better than Uru, than uh, Kisuke Urahara. But he just can't get one up on him. You see Urahara getting in some fucking uh, props like Goku and Vegeta. Okay. The motherfucker's ability is insane. He got his shit around the whole society. Oh, Ichigo have one. Back to the hollow. Mm -hmm. The disadvantage for them. Scientists are so smart when they get together. Oh shit. Ha. Hello, it's Kisuke Urata. Former old captain. Some of you guys may know me or not. <laughs> I'm saying the shit that I didn't even think he was going to say, but ends up saying because that's really his personality as a character. He's like, we all know you, dumbass. Ooh, it's about to be lit. And I honestly don't know how the fuck did he get it all to them. I just want to rewind and figure out how did he do that shit. That shit was weird. Motherfucker just pops out, teleports a fucking pill to all of them. Wouldn't put it over Kisuke, but still, can you explain how you did that shit again? I don't know how he sent them a black pill, but okay. Yeah, maybe the Mayuru drones. They couldn't, they couldn't get the Quincy, the hollow power, bro. It's not possible. 
Because hollows can make soul reapers stronger or some shit. Hmm. You know, something like that. Gotta go back and read it at least twice. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. If we were to absorb a small amount of hollow power, okay. And hollow fire our bunkai for just a short moment, it would basically turn to their utter destruction. That makes so much more sense. Because they can't deal with hollow. That makes so much sense. After the second time you read it. <laughs> oh shit! The sound effect to that shit. Perhaps what is saying he wants to come home. Oof. Put up like a fucking stealth. Uh, so we burn no cap. Real quick. You gonna watch she's weak. The bankai she hates so much. <laughs> Her shit mad destructive. She's the only captain that has a bankai that reaches and fit her, and she knew that shit. That shit was actually right. Such a different level with the bankai though. What if it does? Yeah, animation! You really think so? It's been a while since I've heard your voice! Oh me, that motherfucker is its own creature! Oh my god, we got a hollow vacation bankai. <laughs> like, almost, it's not even just getting a bankai back. The bankais are actually getting hollowified. We got hollow toshi. Oh my god. That's basically. Oh my god, that's basically hollowified Hitsugaya. Sick as fuck. B Baz, where you going? Oh, come back around too, bitch. Oh god. No, no, bro. She can't die now. Such the baddest vice captain of the whole show. She's always been wifey. She can't die. I can't guess. I don't know who. Who's pulling up in a moment like that? Who's part of their squad? Ooh. Oh, girl. What's your name again? But, uh, what's the one girl? Her name starts with H. The girl that always, that was on eyes and dick so much. I forgot her name. That's the girl that pulls up to Hitsugaya. Gotta be her. I haven't seen her for a minute. Ugh, now you've done it. You're not gonna go dumb! I'm Loki starting to realize that I don't think I know what Hirako's Bankai is, bro. I'm actually starting to think that right now because I don't remember this shit. And he's talking about he can't use his power near his comrades and you killed all his comrades. I, I know, I remember his flip world, yeah. His flip world is regular, but his Bankai, I don't remember that shit. The flip world, everything is inverted. Man, sound effect. First of all, I gotta rewind that shit a little bit. That shit was probably another one of the coldest bankais that we seen for the first time. Like, that shit was cold as fuck, you know. Longest bankai name ever, by the way. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, frozen room. Oh, weak. Speaking of when they appear, <laughs> this motherfucker is fucking crazy. <laughs> this guy is just gonna be insanely powerful the way he's acting, bro. He's gonna be insanely powerful. Isagi, the chain. These niggas is all dead, bro. <laughs> Who's bankai? Should she just go ahead and throw like that? She probably lost someone's bankai, but still used the bankai capturing thing as a fucking bomb. They took him out. Nah, the soul reapers took him out. Wait, what happened? Big captain. No, you are not. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, he get embarrassed by they call him a doggy again. That's why he got the mask on. Why he put the mask back on? Unless it's just armor, I guess. That's what happened to our comrades. Yeah, go ahead. Is, I forgot what K what, what K Captain name is. I, I know his name starts with K something. This is long as fuck. You in the inverted world. Oh, his tease of Hiroko is always goaded. Never misses. He's been practicing to have words sound backwards too. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna really feel like you off the drink when you fight in Hiroko, man. Take him a whole soundtrack to his Bankai. I'm talking about like some smooth shit that you play in the bed. Wait, I gotta, I gotta make sure this is actually the show. The music is coming from the anime. <laughs> this motherfucker's power is straight up Genjutsu, bro. On another level. He gonna break a smirk out of some shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. He gonna break a smirk out. He gonna make them... Rejoice Therm Ritters, he making him stronger, bro. Damn, she was getting mopped, but ain't no way she was gonna get mopped quick, bro. She been looking tough as fuck, having outbursts of power here and there, killing people, her own people. Yeah, she wasn't gonna get mopped like how motherfucking Hiroko was playing with her. Why? Now they having their real Quincy power? Uh-oh, we yeah, have one episode of the tide getting turned around a little bit. And now the Quincy's are in there. What's this shit called again? Uh... Didn't the one of the first Quincy do that shit? It's like they're awakening or some shit. They forgot what that shit's called. But okay, okay. Shit looks tough. There's a lot of detail in that shit. Hold up. Too much. Can't tell you. Something happening. Hearts. Mm. Time to catch up, chat. Ooh, they all got different type of wings and powers. They gonna be <laughs> Bambita, that's what her name was. I never really got her name. That gotta be like the girl that's fighting Kiroko. And she's been wilding and going crazy ever since we've seen her. And she's kinda wifey. <laughs> no way, I don't see her beating Hiroko now. Come on now, stop it. Stop it. Whoa, Hiroko don't speak too early. What was that about being burst? What's happened? Can't tell from up there, she's gonna destroy everything using my explode. God damn. Her power is straight destruction. She literally has the destructive infinity stone. She pretty much one shot at Hirokoro. That's just crazy. Oh, he saved her, bro. I forgot Cap I forgot what's his name, bro. Captain what? Kono something. Can you say her name? Can you say his name? <laughs> I feel like a lot of anime people do that shit. Talk like no one's gonna hear them. And who else is saving him? Oh no, he just loses his arm. That shit just comes into impact as soon as it gets there. Pull out big body Bankai. I guess his armor did come in handy, bro. Only Captain that actually wore armor. Yeah. Komamoto, yeah. I, I know his name starts with a K every time, but I just can't fucking remember it. Long story short, what the fuck this nigga just turned into? Holy the fuck, he turned into one of the coldest characters we've seen in the show. Komamoto, though. What happened? Mewo clan? Mewo. Komamoto is easily turning into one of the... Toughest captains. He got that dog in him on real, on real. So when he drinks it, then what? And tear out your. Motherfucker, literally on some Munahana shit. Bro, master died so gruesome that I'm seeing this shit again. Pulls it out. Chinka Real form, oh shit. The Dungai takes his 
different form as well. Oh, shiznit. Ooh. Oni level. This shit on some Oni level. God, animation. Nothing. Whoa, regeneration? Damn, perfect match. Perfect match. Motherfucker is literally a whole armor. Nothing on its armor. It's straight armor. He found a loophole to his Bankai. No heart. The motherfucker don't even got a heart no more. She said, dip. Ha. Yo, if Komamoto slays her ass from right there, that shit gonna be cold. All he gotta do is take a leap forward. No matter how fast you go in, that motherfucker gon' slice her ass. No leap needed. That shit got enough fucking length. She gone. I think Bambita gonna be the first one to go. And Komomoto being the first one to take out one of his third riddles is nice as fuck. Unexpected as shit. Insane. Boom. Boom. God. Komomoru's toughest moment of the show. Right there. Like, what? Look at him from a fucking distance. That motherfucker's new Bankai is sick as shit. The walk. Really got that dog in him, no cap. That shit was cold. Don't tell me you die after that one time. Just get your dog back. Get that dog back in you, man. And when we need this moment again, it can return. But sheesh. Don't tell me it's like a one-time thing, man. I feel like Mad Captain's... Nah. It wasn't enough to kill him, but man. It was sure impressive. It's all good. It's all good. Revert to the original form. Oh. He's gonna turn like his master. He's gonna turn into a full dog. He's gonna be like him. Damn. Why do I see that as a betrayal? Damn. That felt like a top 10 anime betrayal. That's some real lieutenant shit. Damn, the Jinka technique was goaded while it lasted. I mean, I guess that's the only way though. He's like, he give offer him power. I'm pretty sure Komamoto might be just like his old master now to the next fuck of his clan, but fuck. Cold as ice. Felt like betrayal right there. Okay, top 10 betrayals right here though. Motherfucker repaired his damage. 45% done. What are you putting up on all of them? They flipped on her ass? Why does it look like they're about to help her, but it sounds like they're flipping on her ass? She was a bully, and that's what bullies get. She was the life of a piranha. That sucks. Her keto -y. Her keto shit is different. Another one just like that. He said, never mind, fuck that. Oh, it's time. Be sure to thank her. She is goaded. You know, Sam Kiyoraku, so much strength. Save him so much strength. Hold it a little bit. That's the perfect vice captain to have. I mean, they're all perfect. I'm not gonna lie. They're all perfect. But she's just real strategic. Heaven Komodo is done, bro. That's what's like, he's... He not dead. Retired captain now. That's him? No, yeah, no. I forgot Mr. Dead had that motherfucker near him. That motherfucker, what did he do? He's his bell announcer. He gonna fuck them up this time, huh? Round two's never a joke. He 
He basically two tapped them. No. He saw you could die doing his shit. So, is that Shinso? That's Shinso, right? If I'm right. If I'm not wrong, I believe that's Captain Shinso. Oh no. Kensei. Kensei. Pfizer, motherfuckers. Pfizer's in the building. No. No. Bart was about to see Kensei go off. This is like a long end scene, too. Alright, I am now caught up to Bleach. Sounds good. I feel so good that I reacted to it too. Oh shit. But it felt hurt. My boy is almost at the end. Goes literally about to be the king, basically, bro. He's getting the power of the king. I don't know why Ichigo had to be the candidate for this, but hey. Shatters. Ichigo is the best. He's basically being a vessel to another source of power that we cannot even comprehend yet. Easy peasy, huh? It's, yup, he was the perfect fucking vessel. She accepted it with ease. The king said, yup, found my successor. For her to be so fine, though. No reaction. Just what's next? Each don't do Mm. He's gonna be godly when he finishes training. I'm already knowing, man. I'm already knowing. But okay, time for a little outro for this one video. Because I believe I'm put to put all this in together. That was a fire way to debut the Ichigo Thousand Year Blood War second part separation. That shit was fire to begin with. First of all, the Sturm Raiders. Okay, confirm that they are Quincy's now. Even though Yuha did call. Uh, my boy, who do you, the last Quincy, but he meant like the last Ashulen Quincy, which probably meant the last Quincy that witnessed the war, like the last tribal Quincy that were on the war, of like the society bopping the motherfuckers, like when they were all getting annihilated, that's what I'm believing, but who do you is supposed to be the successor of Yuha, which is actually crazy, we went through this whole shit, and it was crazy seeing Jinka, that shit, probably was my highlight, Jinka and Hirako's Bankai popping out. Surprisingly, we have not seen Mama Man Zaraki not once ever since this shit started, even though this shit was like, it was cool without him, you know what I'm saying? And when he comes, it's just gonna be more fire. Kuyaraku's still holding back. We've seen the bank, we've seen the captains retrieve their bankai. My boy! What's his name again? Uh, found out he did not die. What's his face? Uh, Biakia, which was actually great. Really didn't expect him to die ever since last season. We've just been too cold to kill him while his manga was stolen. No redemption, nothing. It's like, yeah, it would have been just been cold as fuck. People wouldn't have liked that. But long story short, this shit was fire. We seen Ichigo look like he's about to achieve his final power. Got to the end of the gate that he was looking towards, like, ever since the first episode. Four weeks now, you know what I'm saying? He's been walking through the same path. He's finally reached the end. And we see this fine-ass waifu. I don't know what he's about to do with her, but yeah. After that, it's about to be time. So, yeah, y'all. We gonna see what happens about next week on fucking me personally. I will react to it on Tuesday, next Tuesday. So yeah, expect that if you guys are watching this on YouTube and Twitch, if you guys will be here, we're gonna be here going a little further on with the stream with some Jujutsu Kaisen coming in next. So you guys already know if y'all enjoyed this stream, the reaction, you know what I'm saying over on Twitch, YouTube, like, subscribe. It's gonna be on. It's gonna be on Patreon later on, for sure, for sure, like I always do. I gotta get the Patreon reinst reinstalled and all that. Get the Vimeo all that up. But I'm not gonna say too much. I'm gonna catch you on the next one, YouTube gang. Like, cheese, out.